Here we have a simple sketch to show our new experimental web debugger. So our standard serial debug example, which has just got a couple of INO files with some functions. So we'll add a breakpoint where we want to stop and change our value as we normally would with a serial debugger. It's by adding in the variable name and the equals question mark into the actions. And because we want to change the value, it's, it's best to stop there so we can change it and then continue. So then we'll go back to our main sketch, where those functions are called, and we'll add some plot charts as well, as normal with the serial debugger again, the standard app plot syntax. So we'll call our chart debug chart, and we'll add our series sign and then give it the value from current sign val. And we'll also put another series onto the same chart called cos to show our current cos file. And because this is just a chart, we'll continue code execution past this point. So, so far the same as the serial debugger. So if we just add Serial deb debugger in as normal, and then go and enable the debugger export web debugger option, which is experimental at present. And then build and upload your code as normal to your board. And the only difference will be some additional output in the output window. If you do wish to start the serial debugger, just open the serial port as normal and it will kick in in Visual Studio. So here we can see some additional output with some links. So first step, if, if you do have different settings to the defaults, if you just control click on the first link, it'll open the folder where the web debugger has been deployed to and just edit the start web server batch script. So in here we can see various settings, serial ports, IP address, the board rate, and then the ports that we'll be serving over. Everything else, just leave. And we can either run that script from there, just by double clicking it, or you can click the link in the Visual Studio window again with control click, which will just double click that script essentially. So. This will load a command window where you can see all the, the contact between the web debugger and Visual Micro, which can be minimized. And it will also kick off your default web browser with the web debugger. So we can see we have our source code as we, we normally do. So we can see where we're up to. We can edit our value because we made that editable and continue. We see it changes and updates. We can also see a random output from the serial. So here's our normal print. We can see that in blue in the serial window. And if we go to plot charts, we can see our two series plotted on the single chart, as you normally would in Visual Studio, but now in a web browser. As you can see, all the values are there. You can also collapse any of the chart items and you can also download the data as a CSV file and all the series will be in there so you could just put this into Excel for example and then replot them in that or in any other tool. So there we go. This is running locally on my PC and we'll do another video about how you make this remote accessible. There's more information on the website. The WebSocket server will be closed automatically when you do another upload but you can also close it manually just by closing the window. So if we just run it now at full speed, 
without our, our stopping so we can just see how the charts would render when it's moving a bit more quickly we know our settings are okay so we'll just run the script here we go moving a lot faster now and we can see all the data flying into our chart and again all the same controls are available you can also enable the monitor digital and analog pins option for the serial debug and this will render into the web debugger as well so i'll just tick those as normal build and upload and again just run the script we can now see all the digital and analog pins for our board with the current states and the web debugger as well what you can also do is deploy the web debugger to another machine very easily simply copy the VM web debugger folder to another computer in this case I'll just put it into a different folder and then if we just go and edit our batch script to match these settings and run it that'd work so of course you might have a different COM port on a different machine so you may need to edit the, the comma selection. And that's it. Very simple to move around. If you want to run it remotely, which we'll, we'll go into this further in another video, you can set the remote WebSocket address and remote WebSocket port. So if you were tunneling out through your, your home router to the web, those addresses would go there. Currently our IP address is 127.0.0.1. So our local machine will go through changing this and privileges in another video so to run it locally it should be as straightforward as that